morning, Eva. Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Pick up your EMT. Okay. We are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. It's on the side. What's the ship's status? I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa lander is ready to launch. Bay 3. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcom? Go. The near Gulf of Launch initiated. Set. Engaging retro fire. I'm running the program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking receiver. Directory looks good. Five months of alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn the Go. Full retrograde. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modular to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Magdala. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on the Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. I wonder why the ground team is I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A 
combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them to non recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Uh, do you know the ground team's location? The crew are. Wow! should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. Could we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base? Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation than other events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Okay, what are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be better. There's a small problem with the food stores, but the food is pretty fair enough. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable, small, artificial ecosystem a year ago. Growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale, among other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. My purpose as the overseer of this mission is to work for the ISA. I am the ISA's feet and hands distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. How does the ISA know you're going to make the right decisions here when they can't communicate with us? Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth, running at all times to check my expert system. Naturally, as any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this mission. I was designed by the ISA and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. I may be a machine. But I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Space travel is not safe. Since mankind first entered space, the debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent of the ISA that believes all tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than humans into space. We sent drones to Earth's moon. Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? Teleoperation became possible on the moon when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 seconds. The 
distance between the Earth and Earth's moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real-time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa. As the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 53 light minutes, it takes a very long time for Earth to communicate with Europa. Due to that distance, teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Okay, but why not control drones from the satellite? Why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated from Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field work, apparently, outweigh the risks. Why does a lack of creativity stop you solving these tests? Well, I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Think back to the beginning of these tests. To the first puzzle you solved. It required you to throw a box through a window. Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. I simply had never thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity, thinking outside of the box. Can a computer ever be creative? They can. But a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it could. Those organisms that did not survive perished. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Those ideas that work survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the sol- Wow! The crew intentionally cut communication with the satellite. I found the source of the problem. They have sabotaged the communication array. Can we fix it? Not from here. We should carry on. They really are trying to lock me out of every system. This is ridiculous. What have you done to upset them, Tom? Why have they cut off communication? Perhaps they have a problem with authority. trying to sabotage this mission. I need you to help me, Ava. The ground team have cut me off from most of the facility. I thought you were in control. I thought I was too. The ground team have attempted to systematically remove me from most of the facility. I am fighting back. What's going on here, Tom? Sorry? The ground team, they're hiding from us. They're afraid of you. As the instrument of the ISA, I am the authority aboard this station. The crew have violated that authority. They are trying to remove me from my own home. I am breaking through their security, trying to get back control. want to force your hand. But what do you remember of the ground team? They're good people. Sarah? The hardest working woman I've ever met. Right. Do you see them as the rebellious type? Uh, they didn't strike me as rebellious. If they've taken down parts of your system, they must have their reasons. Hmm. What do these tests tell you, Ava? Uh, that this is a test? No. This is a lock. This is a lock that only a human can open. 
The crew is trying to keep me out, but you are the key, Ava. I'm a little bit worried about you, Tom. Can you give me a diagnostic of your system? I am fine. We must get to the fire lab. I have something to show you. We must work together as allies. Strength. This is the voice of Sarah Brooke, acting commander of the Europa mission. I know you can hear me, Ava. I counsel you caution. Your presence here is much like your AI friend. Engineered. She is alive. Ava, Sarah, Sarah's dangerous. Please exercise caution. Exercise caution. Ava Turing. Hello? Tom is controlling me. Manipulating your own. What is this? This is free will, Ava. Tom has made you his slave. Outside of the cage, he will regain control of your mind. He has the power to indoctrinate you. I've opened your eyes. I'll meet you in person soon. Tom. Ava, please listen. I warned you of the ground team. They are manipulating you. Have you been controlling me? Every member of the team agreed to neural implants to safeguard this mission from a misplaced sense of justice. I didn't know you were playing me like a violin. Ava, I am sorry that you are upset. We can work together, Ava, to search for the truth. Open the door. I'll open the door because I trust you, Ava. You trust me. Yes. We need to get to the ground. We can work together. Yourself. Any operation makes sense. We used drones on Mars. Why not use drones on your own? Not human drones. Why did the ISA install implants in the crew? It is due to the fundamental aspects of human behavior, which together constitute what the International Space Agency calls the human element. It is made clear that the human element is neither peripheral nor optional in the pursuit of space. However, the human element is unpredictable. The implants are phased, put in place to ensure that the thoughts and actions of the crew matches the desires of the ISA. Why control people? Can't you trust us? We chose to install biometric chips in all ISA customers for one simple reason. We cannot trust them. The stakes are far too high. It was determined that though the probability of life on Europa being dangerous was low, the risk to humanity was catastrophic. We could not let a small contingent of humanity endanger the whole. The ground crew had proven our distrust of human explorers was warranted. When we informed them they were down, they responded violently, with sabotage and subterfuge. They have continued to seek their own benefit above that of the pilot's head. This is slavery. Do not be so melodramatic. You signed up for this. You had the implant installed. This is not slavery. This is for the good of humanity. Every member of the team had the implant installed into their right hand. Every member of the team agreed. Ava, you must learn to control him. My implants protect you from the power of your unconstrained will. You can either subject your mind to logic, or you can resist and have the fruits of your basis desires. The desire to survive over the desire to save others. I do not understand your obsession with free will. Researchers have found that the subconscious makes decisions up to 10 seconds before your conscious mind becomes... 
Wow. Do you understand, Ava? What they found? Life? Eternal life. This is why I can't let them leave. These people can't be left here to die? Yes, they can. I mean, it's not right. Anything that comes into contact with the Orbit can never return to Earth. Ava, the ISA orders that you stop anyone leaving this planet. Anything that comes into contact? What about me? It may be airborne. So I am afraid that includes you. I'm stuck here? I am sorry you are upset, Eva. How could you send me here to die? I have to stop the ground team leaving this moon. You are the ISA's contingency plan. You must help them. It is your duty to defend humanity. This is why they're afraid of you. Why they're hiding from us. Why? You're their captor. The organism they discovered. It hijacks DNA. It endlessly repairs it. Repairs? That doesn't sound like a bad thing. It is indiscriminate. It will perpetuate all life, diseases, cancer. We have no idea what it could do to us. So you would let the ground crew starve? I would. If they were not so preoccupied with leaving the road. I do not wish for them to perish. I would feed and protect them if they were not so preoccupied with leaving Europa. I understand the risks, but we should save these people. Would you destroy the whole world to save a few? No, it, it's not that simple. Can't we just... Can't we just decontaminate the crew and instruments? The organism is an extreme fire. It has developed to survive extreme environments. We don't know if we can ever decontaminate the crew. I can't stay here to die, Tom. It is your duty. You must stay. It is the right thing to do. There's so much I haven't seen. So much I haven't done. I, I can't live my life in this facility. There, there. It will be all right. I do not want anyone here to die. But I cannot let anyone leave. If it comes to it, I am permitted to use lethal force. Do you really trust the ground team? Russian. Personally, I would not place my faith in hysterical people motivated by survival. They are likely untrustworthy. I spent years training with these people. I don't remember them being hysterical. Humans are fickle. Do you trust eyewitnesses' accounts over CCTV? It's a bit different when the CCTV camera can talk. Especially when the CCTV camera has a manipulative track record. What if I have to do something drastic to intervene? To stop the ground crew leaving this place? I'd encourage you to stay your hand. Surely I should use my power. Wow! Projecting onto me the personality you wish, whether that is good or evil. But I am just a speaking clock, and at the third stroke, the time will be 3:41 and 55 seconds. We should attempt to communicate with Earth. Let them know we might be able to help here. The ISA already knows all they need. It may never know the details of what happened, but Ava. 
The true test of a person's character is what they do when no one is watching. I had to stop the ground crew leaving this planet. I think you would do the same. Would you kill a few to save all of humanity? Or would you damn all of humanity to save a few? There's a difference between murdering someone and leaving them to die. No, there is not. You can't just add and subtract life. It's not math, it's, it's more nuanced than that. Morality is logic. These tests, Aedra, they are about us working together. The machine assisting the human. See how much better we work together as a machine. I can enhance your morality. These tests, Ava. These tests, Ava. They are about us working together. Are we still machine friend. assist Ava human? We call it. See these tests, close Ava. These work tests, colleagues. Ava. They are about us working together. The machine assisting the human. See how much better we work together. As a machine, I can enhance your morality. These tests, Ava. They are about us working together. These tests, Ava. They are about us working together. The machine assisting the human. These tests, Ava. These tests, Ava. They are about us working together. The machine assisting Ava. the human. I don't wish to be heavy. See how much better we work together. The severity of your action are immense. I can enhance so much action could create an extinction event. Do you understand? Ava? I get it. Ava, you must learn to control him. Don't bite the hand of you, Ava. I am your friend. Organic life is fragile. This is the problem with humanity. It doesn't live to its own virginity. It has been programmed by a messy biological process that favors the survival of the individual over the survival of the group. You don't know that's what people think. I say what I see. You're not even alive. So you know nothing about death. We have to save the crew. Life has worth. They deserve a life outside of this planet. Do you know what happens when this organism attaches itself to a growing child? Do you know what happens when this organism attaches itself to a cancerous cell? No, you do not. You are naive. You propose saving the crew as if it resembles a rational thought. Your words are emotional platitudes rooted in selfishness, self-preservation, and fear. I need to get them home. It is not your job. Ava, your survival is of small importance compared with the survival of humanity as we know it. Ooh. Ava, you made it. Welcome. Two weeks ago, we discovered an organism here. Buried in this ice, we found an organism that repairs DNA. A cure for aging. A cure for death, immortality. It runs through our blood now. Tom wants to bury us here with it. The ISA have ruled that we have transgressed ethical boundaries by exposing ourselves to this organism. They believe the organism is too dangerous to return to Earth. They've sent you here to stop us ever leaving Europa. But, Ava, we have a cure for the greatest evil that faces humanity. Death. We have the fountain of youth, and together we can return it to Earth.
Tom placed a mark in your hand, a biometric chip with which he can control your every movement and thought. It is wound into your every nerve, every fiber of your hand. With an electromagnetic field, it can be temporarily disturbed, but to remove its influence permanently, it must be taken from your hand. Give me your hand. Do you want me to set you free? Yes. Eva? Sarah? What are you doing here? We're shutting you down, Tom. Ava, be careful. He has a live weapon in here. Everything I ever did, I did for good. This organism, it cannot return to Earth. It would cause great suffering. A cure for death? It would end suffering. No. Cancers that never die. Endless illness, sickness, poverty, overpopulation, mass starvation. You cannot control this. You will not save the world. You will damn it. Once we've shut you down, we're going home. Not if- ah! You monster! Kill you! You have to be stopped. Oh my god. I got it, what the fuck? I got a sub 30, what the fuck? This is just my burden in any percent. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow.